welcome, Tiagi Das here with another English in the Pocket video. So, as you have noticed, I started to post English in the Pocket videos on this channel, Aprendizagem Viva, because, as you may imagine, it is a lot of work to be uh, administrating two channels in the YouTube. So, I felt it was an easier way if I would turn English in the Pocket channel into a playlist of Aprendizagem Viva. And since Aprendizagem Viva is all about learning process, and it makes sense that this channel has a playlist where you can practice your English and you can gain fluency and you can increase your vocabulary and learn about different things. So, I felt it made more sense to do that and also less work for me because, as you may imagine, it takes a lot of work to be uh, adding videos to your channel and editing them and all this. So, I felt like, well, maybe it's an easier way to do it through Aprendizagem Viva. And as you know, Aprendizagem Viva is about implicit learning. And what is implicit learning? Well, basically, implicit learning is when you learn about something, whatever it is, by doing and interacting with people who know about that particular subject. And not necessarily having to understand the rules and all the implications of that particular subject. Okay, I'll give you an example. When you are learning how to drive a car, right? So, when you start learning how to drive a car, you don't need necessarily to learn how to change the oil of the car. You don't need to understand about mechanics. You just simply have to know how the car uh, works in its simple way. So basically, you know, you have to turn on the key and then you have to, you know, to press the pedal, let the gas pedal, and then you have to put the car in gear and that you need a clutch. So you have to press the clutch, put the car in gear and go forward. So you don't need to go through all the implications of the mechanics and how the car is run. None of that. Okay. So the same thing applies when you are learning a language. You don't need to understand all the grammar implications of a certain language simply because you don't need that. You learn by interacting. You learn by listening, right? So it's very important if you are learning English and if you know a little bit of English already that you consume as much English as possible, right? So, how do you consume English? Well, by listening to podcasts, by watching videos in English, by watching series in Netflix with English subtitles, right? It's very important. You don't uh, read Portuguese subtitles while you are listening into English because that's going to delay your learning process simply because translation delays your process because you have to think oh okay he's saying this and this and that and then you translate in your mind and then you start to understand but when we learn our native languages like for example my native language is uh, Portuguese right when I learned Portuguese my mother didn't have to translate it into French or English or any other language she simply spoke to me and by speaking to me, I was listening and I was making sense of it. And eventually, because of the context, I was making sense of it and I could understand. And when I was about two years old, I started to speak. The same thing will happen with English. The more you listen, the more you will be able to speak. And that may take a little time. That may take a little while for you to feel confident in yourself to speak up, but that's the only way. And I've got good news. If you don't translate, if you resist the temptation to translate when you're learning to Portuguese, you will be able to think in English. 
And that's what everybody wants. When you're learning a language, you want to be able to think in that language. Now, if you start translating, you will get, you will accommodate. You, you, I mean, you will, you will, uh, you will settle for translation, and that's not good. Now, one another thing I wanted to say is like sometimes I do make mistakes. Sometimes I mess up a little bit, and I use the wrong conjunction, and I I use the wrong article, and I even sometimes I I make mistakes with the verb tense. But is that really, really, really important? I mean, of course, we want to sound as perfect as we can sound. But the most important thing about any language is that you make yourself understood in terms of like your message comes across. You are able to communicate with another person. And that's the most important thing. And, and in the process of communication, sometimes we do make mistakes. Like I said, we do, you know, use the wrong conjunction, the wrong adverb, and whatever. But if that doesn't compromise the main essence of a language, which is to communicate, to establish communication between people, it's okay, you know. You know, we have this idea that because you were born in England, you don't make mistakes, you speak perfect English. But that's not true. Even us as Brazilian, uh, we sometimes, when we speak Portuguese, we make mistakes. And does that mean that people don't understand what we're trying to say? No, not at all. So I wanted you to think about this so that you can relax about learning. Because when you are relaxed, you can learn much faster. And you can also retain the knowledge. You can keep the knowledge in your memory because you are relaxed and you and now if you are nervous about it if because you are too perfectionist you want to sound perfect you want to never ever make mistakes that's going to already be like a kind of a stress in your mind and when you are stressful you can't remember words you can't you you have like a a blockage so that's kind of counterproductive basically so I hope you you make sense of this message. Uh, there's quite a lot of information in it, but uh, I wanted to record this video because it has been a while since I last recorded a video for English in the Pocket, and slowly I'm uploading from the previous from the old channel English in the Pocket to this playlist, so you can access everything through the English in the Pocket playlist, and. Remember that we've got a WhatsApp group. It's a WhatsApp interactive group. And then you're most welcome to join us there. I will leave the link in the description of this video. And uh, the only rule we've got in that group is that it's 100% English. So no matter what, all the posts and all the comments and all the audio messages that you may record for that group, make sure it's 100% in English, right? Again, because that's the only way that is truly effective that you're going to be uh, fluent. You're going to become fluent in a much shorter time than if you start, again, going through the grammar process or even translation and all that. So that's called implicit learning and it's very good. It's very effective and that's what we practice here in English in the Pocket. Okay, so I think that's it for now. And I hope you enjoyed this video that helps you to train your ears, that you learn new words with it. And what I would encourage you to repeat this video and watch it over and over again. So you can really make sense of what I'm saying here, right? If you have any question, please write in the comments, right? I will be very, very happy to to answer that, to help you to understand better the content of this video. Okay, so all the best, stay well, and just enjoy yourself. Okay, take care, speak to you soon.